Today I'll be showing you how to use a free money managing application called Money Manager X and it's comparable to Quicken and Microsoft Money. So first we need to download and install it. So I'll open up my web browser which is Internet Explorer but you can use whatever you want whether it's Firefox or Opera, Google Chrome, Safari or whatever else. But once you're in your web browser go up to your address bar and clear out whatever's there and type in www codelathe.com slash mmex for Money Manager X and push enter. And once you get to the website, click on the download link on the right and scroll down and click on the download button. Now since I'm an Internet Explorer, I have the option to just run the installer rather than save it, but your other web browsers like Firefox and the others will probably not have the run option you'll probably have to save it first uh, and then manually open it by double clicking on it. Um, but yeah, in this video I'll just click on the run button since I'm an Internet Explorer. And once the installer is finished downloading you can close out of your web browser. So I'll do that. And here we are at the installer. First of all you have this window saying that the publisher cannot be verified. You can just ignore that and click on the run button. And here we are at the installer for Money Manager X. So I'll click on Next, and then you should read through this as always, and click on I accept the agreement, and then click Next. And this is the install location. Uh, you probably don't need to change this, um, so if you don't have a reason to change it, just click on the Next button. And you can choose whether or not you want icons on your desktop and quick launch area. I'm going to create a desktop icon, but it's totally up to you. And then click on the next button, and this is the, ins the summary of what it's going to do. So I'll just click on install. And I'll leave the checkbox checked that says launch money manager X, and I'll click the finish button. And it's asking me to choose a language. I'll choose English and click OK. And this is a start page for money manager X. Since this is our first time, I'll click on Create a New Database. And it's asking you to save the database um, somewhere on your hard drive. And I'm just going to leave it at the My Documents folder. Now, you shouldn't name it anything obvious like My Money or anything like that. You can choose whatever you want to name it. I'm going to pick Example and click on Save. Now it's uh, asking you to go through the new database wizard. So I'll click on Next. And click the Set Currency button at the top. And choose whatever currency you want. I'll choose US Dollar and click on Select. And once you have the base currency set, then you can click on Finish. And now it'll ask you to add an account. So I'll click on Next. And let's say that I had a checking account at Bank of America. So I'll just type in B of A Checking but you can call it whatever you want. And then click the next button. And the type of account is already correct. It's on checking slash savings. So I'll just click on finish. And now for this screen, you can you don't really have to enter in uh, this information here, but you can if you want to. I'll just um, enter in the initial balance and I'll say $1,500 and click on OK. And now here we are at the main screen. Let me go ahead and maximize the window so we can see it better. So over on the left, I'll click on B of A checking. And here we are at the transaction screen. And of course, we don't have any yet, so I'll make one now. So I'll click on New. And this is a withdrawal. And I'll click on Select Payee. And we don't have any in this list yet, so I'll go down to where it says Add slash Edit Payee. And let's type in Burger King. And click on Add and then Select. So now you'll see that it says Burger King. Now for the number, this is where you put your check number, um, but if you use your debit card, um, the, obviously there is no check number, so I'll just put EFT for that, for electronic funds transaction. And then you should select a category, and I'll go down to Dining Out and click on Select. And I'll just put um, me and my wife, just so that I can remember who, who was there. Um, and I'll say $15 and click OK. So that's our first transaction. I'll make another one so we have some more in there. 
So let's say that I went to Old Navy. Click on Add and then Select. And this was another EFT because I used my debit card. Click on Select Category. Go down to Clothing. Click on Select. And I'll type in Pants for me and a shirt for my wife. And let's say it was $50. So I'll click on OK. And let's do another one. But this time we'll have multiple categories. So I'll click on Select Payee. Let's type in Walmart. Click Add and then Select. Another EFT because I use my debit card. Now this time I'm going to click on this little checkbox that says Split. And you'll see that the amount of how much I spent is grayed out and I can't type in there. Um, and you'll see why in just a second. So I'll click on this button that says Split Category. And now I'll click on Add. And let's say um, Select Category. Let's say first we got some, some groceries. So I'll choose that and do Select. And let's say that was $60. Click OK. Let's do Add again. And let's say we also um, what should I choose? Let's say we got some clothing there as well. Click on select and let's say $30 for that. And click OK. So that's $90 altogether. So I'll click close and you'll see that it's automatically added in there. <clears throat> and then for notes, um, I won't note anything about the groceries, but I'll just say uh, for the clothing, I'll just say um, shirts for me and then I'll click on OK. So that's how you do that. Now let's say that I got paid. So I'll click on New Transaction and this time I'll choose Deposit. And I'll do Select Payee and I'll just type in My Company. Click Add then Select. And you can type in the check number if you want but I'll just type in DEP. And for the category I'll choose uh, Salary. Click on select and let's do uh, 1500 and click on. I just won't put any notes and I'll just click on OK. And there you go. So now, if I click on home page over here, you see that we now actually have some stuff going on. We have our graph here and um, it shows your top categories for the last 30 days and other useful information. So if I click on um, oh, and I'll show you this. Uh, over in the reports, there's lots of useful reports. I can type or choose uh, where the money goes, and it shows me uh, a pie chart, which is useful. And I can click on categories over here, and, <clears throat> and let me expand this down and just do current month. Uh, Oh, that's where the money comes from. I'm sorry. Let me collapse that and expand categories and do current month. Now here's our uh, our pie chart um, for the various categories. So that's pretty neat. Uh, so here we are again at the transactions area. I'll just show you real quick how to um, or what these little icons are. This means that it hasn't been reconciled. So what you should do is periodically go on to your to your bank's website and log on and and um, see what has cleared and what has not. And when when things clear, you can come into Money Manager X and highlight the item and, and right click it and choose Mark as Reconciled. And that means that it's cleared with your bank. So that's what the icons mean. Um, but as you can see, Money Manager X is very useful and it's a great way to keep track of your money. Um, so that's about it. I'll close out of here. And you'll see the next time you open Money Manager X, it takes you right to the home screen, right where you left off. So it's a pretty good program. And I hope this video was helpful to you.